Well, actually, here, I'll ask you about this. Things have been going just swimmingly. You know, the synchronicities that I had several years ago where I felt like I was just on slaloming down the hill. It's like, oh, good thing coming to me. Oh, another good thing coming to me. It's been happening for the last, let's say, month or two. And then yesterday, my car got towed in downtown LA, and I found it 30 minutes after the tow place had closed, and blah, 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 blah. And so I had to take advantage of what is actually a fairly decent transit system in LA, to my surprise, and came back, and this morning, met some guy at a coffee shop where they gave me a free coffee because I have my car towed, and then a fellow that I was talking to gave me a ride to go get the car. So it's this strange mix of, what did I do to cause the car being towed? And then what did I do on the positive side to have people be very well, kind to me this like morning? you're like everyone, you have a mix of vibration, but you're mostly in the receptive mode of wonderful things coming. But you've been questioning yourself. We'll tell you another story about Esther. You're gonna like this. So a few months ago, Esther twisted her knee, taking a very large suitcase off the conveyor belt, a suitcase that she had loaded piece by piece by piece. It was so big, she had to fly, another airline to not be charged extra for the bag that how big the bag was so she's been sort of gimpy limping around limping around limping around and now her knee is feeling wonderful again and she hasn't been doing much flying or much dragging of bags around for the last month or so so she had the thought as she was walking through the airport a thought that at face value sounds like a positive thought Ooh, I'm so glad that my knee is feeling so good well Every subject is really two subjects. There's something on each end of the stick, yes? What is wanted on one end and what's not wanted on the other end. And so she's emphasizing, sort of trying a little too hard, talking about how glad she is that her knee feels good. And then without even realizing it, we're reminding her and she knows it as we are reminding her. She had in the background a thought going on, not gonna do that with those big old bags again thinking about the big old bags, lugging the big old bags, dragging the big old bags. Now she's gonna be out here for a while, so she brought two big old bags and another bag. So she has three bags, which is just one bag more than is easy for her. But she always believes, if I can't haul it myself, don't bring it, because she doesn't always want somebody else needing to come along with her to help her. And they've got their own bags to drag around anyway. So can you feel the not all positive things that she's got going on in her mind a sort of reactivating of stuff that she could have left alone she didn't need to justify that she feels glad that her knee is better she could have left it alone but she didn't and so when her new to me suitcase came off the conveyor belt she lifted it off with e or her friend lifted it off with ease and she's hooking everything up and she hooked her smaller bag on it she thinks it's so great the way it piggybacks and she can push one in front and pull the other behind and this was so incredibly heavy she couldn't believe it and her friend said let me help you with that she said no 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 i got, I got it i've got it <laughs> so she's dragging it through the airport a little bit and then she thought what is wrong with this suitcase and she looked and one of the wheels had been broken off in flight it's a new bag to me really good suitcase <laughs> and it's a virtual sled that she's dragging through the airport <laughs> and she's asking the question that you're asking what thoughts was I thinking well she knows what thoughts she was thinking she was remembering that she doesn't want her knee to hurt she was blaming the suitcase for hurting her knee and now she's back here I am to save the day I'm healthy and I can do this all by myself See, here's the thing. Oh, if you hear this, you don't ever need to know anything else ever, 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 ever. Oh, oh, we're so excited to tell you this. But before we do, we're going to tell you something else. So don't forget that we're going to tell you this, because this is the most important thing that you're ever going to hear from us. We'll just remind you in case we forget. It's about how good thoughts and bad thoughts manifest. So remember that, because we want to come back to that, because it's the most important thing that you're ever going to hear. So Esther was watching her grandson working on some long division and he really is a good student. He wants to be a good student and he really applies himself and he's kind of excited that he's getting to do a little homework because his big sister's been doing homework and so now he's got some homework. So that means he's big and he's sitting and he's getting frustrated because he can't get his problems right. And so his mother came to Esther. She was spending the night there and said, 
can you show me how to do this long division thing? Because I want to show Luke and I want to make sure that I remember how to do it. And Esther said, I think I can remember how to do it. And so she did it. And then they checked it on the calculator. Yeah, that must be how to do it. Cause we got the right answer. <laughs> and so then Tracy went up to talk to Luke about it. And Esther can hear his frustration and his consternation and he's trying and he's not getting it right. And then all of them realized he doesn't really know his times tables. Not really. He was sort of guessing at some of them. And so when you're sort of guessing at the timetables, you can't do the long division. And until he gets that, the rest of it is not going to be easy. And Esther laid there in bed that night and she thought, oh man, this is just like understanding law of attraction. This is just like understanding these few basic things. This is just like understanding that law of attraction is responding to us and that our emotions are telling us how we feel. This is just like understanding once a thought occurs, once a thought is recognizable and received, a good feeling thought is going to manifest into a good feeling manifestation. It's the law. And a bad feeling thought is going to manifest into a bad feeling experience. It's the law. But they seem to be happening quicker and quicker with less distance between the thought yes. and the reality. Yes, because you understand that you create your own reality and because there's momentum in every thought that you think. And because the universal forces, things are manifesting more quickly now than they ever had before. There's more current from your inner being about what's going on in your vortex. And there's more current in the mass consciousness about things that are unwanted. So the rich are getting richer faster and the poor are getting poorer faster. And the sick are sicker faster and the well are weller faster. In other words, the crevasse between wanted and unwanted is starkly realized, you see. And then your government says, oh, well, we'll just smooth it all out again. You can start all over again, but you won't because you've got a vibrational position that is steady and will yield to you once you just clean your thoughts up just a little bit and anyway what's so wrong we've been saying to you for years that there are two ways to know what you're doing vibrationally one is how it feels and one is how it manifests and the feeling is pre-manifestation and the manifestation is post-manifestation but what difference does it make if you are becoming a master Step four, we didn't tell you what step five is. Step five is not being mad at yourself for having a step one moment. Step five is realizing that contrast is going to always be part of the process. That it's how you clarify and that it doesn't mean that you're not good at what you do. And it doesn't mean that you're not worthy. It means that you're clarifying. It means that you're putting more ingredients in. It means that you're making a more robust vortex. It means that you're going to have more desires that are coming out of it later. It means that you have longevity here in this physical experience. When you become complacent, we've never said this before, but this is a perfect time to say it. When you become complacent, when you're not feeling any emotion anymore, when you're not contributing any more to your vortex, when you stop putting the ingredients in, in time, you stop being in this physical time space reality. It's all part of your continuation of creating here. So the challenge is essentially just learning how to monitor and master our thoughts and our emotions. Yes, but what's an easier way of saying it? To care how I feel and do something about it when I don't feel so good and catch it at the earlier subtle stages. Mm -hmm. Don't wait until you are livid about something or disappointed beyond measure about something. Catch it in the earlier stages when it's easier to just step back into the receiving mode. So you really got an earful, didn't you? And you were up to speed with most of it, every one of you. Recognizing the receiving mode, that's the times tables part of the mathematical equation that you're wanting to apply here in this deliberate creative process. If you get it, that negative emotion means that you are vibrationally opposed to your own desire and positive emotion means you are in alignment with it. Therefore you are in the receptive mode. Therefore you are in the replenishing mode. Now you can go on to solve any mathematical equation that you will ever want to live in this time space reality. If you get that, you've got it all. That's all you need to know. Perfect. I, uh, this morning, since it had been a few years, I decided that I wanted to be the first person in the hot seat in 2016. So thank you very much. And there you were. And such a good conversation. It was so good that, do you know, 
we would never need to have another conversation in 2016 or 17 or 18 or 19. You never need to hear anything beyond what you just heard to live happily ever after about anything that matters to you. It's been really a lot of fun, Liz. <laughs>